Welcome everyone. I'm Michael from the Marx Group Live, and this is a super focused do it fast lesson on organizing tabs in Zoho projects. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marxgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us to improve our video library. In this demo, I'm running Firefox on Windows 10. Much of this will also work with other operating system and browser combinations. And of course, let us know if you run into any snags. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you already have access to Zoho projects and are already somewhat familiar with project management principles. I will also assume that you have already created a project in Zoho projects and that you're comfortable setting up tasks. Other videos in the Marx Group Live site can help you if you need a refresher on any of this. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly one thing, organize tabs in Zoho Project. There are two ways to do this. First, we can do this within a project, or we can do it from the general setup area, and I'm going to show you both ways. To start with, I'll show you how we can do it from within a project. I'm going to start in one of my projects. Over here on the left side of my screen, we have a column of icons that Zoho refers to as tabs, and each one represents something that you might do whilst managing a project. Zoho has a default sequence for those tabs, where it puts the ones that it thinks you're most likely to use at the top, and then there's an ellipsis at the bottom that tells you that there are more things hidden down there. The balance between items that I see in the column versus the additional area depends on the pixel dimensions of my screen. Obviously, the taller my screen, the more of those items or the more of those tabs I can put in that main column. Now, here's a quirk, and it's a good one, I think. That last tab above the ellipsis will change depending on which function you've most recently used from that pantry of additional functions. Let me show you how this works. Right now on my screen, in that column, in that I have the dashboard, feed, tasks, issues, milestones, and right at, there, at the bottom, chat. If I click on that ellipsis and click on select users, then that becomes the tab at the bottom, and chat returns to its place in that area that I refer to as the pantry. Now, if I choose chat now, that becomes the bottommost tab, and users is back in the pantry where it came originally came from. Now, if you don't like the sequence of those tabs, you can change it. For example, we may decide that issues is really important, and it should be up above tasks, and that will put tasks down uh, next to milestones. Now, to make that change, we click on the ellipsis, and there at the bottom is, a, is an option called Organize Tabs. Let's click on that and see what happens. Now, you may have fewer tabs on this screen or more, depending on which version of projects you're using and how you've set it up. Now, those two tabs at the upper right, dashboard and feed, they can't be disabled. You can see that they have a red button in the upper right corner. And if I hover over it, Zoho tells me that default tabs can't be disabled. However, any tab that has a green button in the upper left corner can be disabled by clicking the button. So let's say I'm not going to enable finance on a project. All I have to do is click on the green button. And now um, if I look, if I save this and I look here in this area, finance is nowhere to be found. Now, of course, it's still here. You can turn this off without worrying that you're going to delete the function. It just hides the function from that, uh, from that list of tabs. 
So I re-enable it by clicking on the white button, and now it becomes green. Off, on. And that just determines its visibility in that list of tabs. Now earlier, I mentioned that I wanted to move issues so that it would be up above tasks. And to do that, I'm going to grab it and move it to the left. And then tasks moves down to the space that issues used to occupy. In fact, the entire list can push. So if I take Gantt, chart, Gantt and Reports and I want to move that up to the top position, say I want to move it to where Tasks is now, it will push everything down. It doesn't just swap the position of the two items that I'm moving. It moves everything uh, that's either above it or below it. Now, let's put issues where tasks used to be. Now, tasks and milestones are together, which to me makes sense. Now, when I'm moving a tile, you can see right underneath it that that's number three, that's two, that's one. Let's look at the end here, because this is helpful to see. That's number nine, and this is number ten. So the order in which these things appear vertically is corresponds in this window from top to bottom, left to right. So dashboard through feed, through issues, through to finance, then forums, pages, and ending with Gantt and reports. Now, I've got issues where I want it to be, and that's great. Um, Zoho asks me about updating my selection beyond the current project. So I can have the this sequence of tabs supposedly for existing projects or for upcoming projects. At least that's what it looks like. This is a bit deceptive. Now that I've got issues right underneath the feed, if I click on update selection for existing projects, Zoho warns me that tabs can only be hidden in existing projects. They can't be reordered. Similarly, if I click on upcoming projects, that means that from now on, all projects, well, they won't actually have this sequence or this series, specific series of tabs, but I can either hide or show things in subsequent reports. So if I think that I'm never going to use the Finance tab, I can simply click that to disable it or to hide it, and then uh, it'll be hidden in all upcoming reports, and I can also click it, click the existing projects so that uh, existing projects also will not show the Finance, um, finance tab. I'm going to put it back for the time being. Now I'm going to save to commit my changes. And now you can see that issues is where I hoped it would be, right underneath the dashboard and the feed. And that put tasks, that puts tasks and milestones together. And there you have it. That's how you can customize the sequence of tabs in a Zoho project. But wait, there's a second way to organize tabs. If we go to the setup menu at the upper right corner of the window, then we can go to project settings, and there's another there's another place where we can organize tabs. Now here we get a very similar screen with a few key differences. First, up here at the top, I can choose any of my projects. So I do, I'm not just constrained to setting things in a project that I'm currently working on. I don't have to switch to another project just to uh, change the order or uh, change the visibility. If I want to do that for a whole set of projects, uh, the easiest way to do that is in the Setup menu. So once I've selected the project, once I've selected the project, 
um, there are two options here that are useful to see. Earlier, we were changing the order of tabs for project users. But as you may know from one of our other videos or from your own work in Zoho projects, we also have client users within a, uh, pro we can have client users within a project. And so I can set the visibility and sequence of tabs separately for project users versus client users. Now you'll note that for client users, they have access to fewer tabs. The assumption is that a client user doesn't have full visibility of your project in the same way that team members do and even where they have visibility, they can't always necessarily participate or change values, which probably makes sense because if they're doing that, then they're probably members of your project team rather than clients. For clients, also client users also, we can only set the, vis the visibility of these tabs. We can't move them around. And once again, we can choose to apply these changes to existing projects or upcoming projects or both. And because we can't move them around at all, Zoho doesn't have to give me a warning that those changes can't be, uh, can't be exported to other projects. And that's all there is to organizing tabs in Zoho projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have suggestions for other classes or for questions that you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com and thanks for viewing.